Hello, and yep. So I'm gonna gonna run you guys through specular mapping for Emacs Simulator and how that works. Um, obviously, this is quite a bit more complicated than you know doing things like a normal map. Well, kind of is, kind of isn't. The explanation behind it's kind of hard. I'll try my best to explain it the best I can. Double best there. Um, um, uh, I might not be able to explain it great, but like I said, I'm going to try my best. Um, so anyway, this the specular map is made up of two parts. Uh, it's made up of the RGB channel and an alpha channel. Um, I'll explain the RGB channel first. Uh, obviously, RGB is a color, so you can use any color for this. But I'll explain what exactly it does. So. In game you have your bike or object exhaust whatever you want and you know you're you're, you're honing along everything's fine and dandy um, but when the Sun hits a part of your bike you'll notice that it, you know when when the Sun shines on a part of your bike you'll notice the the Sun reflects back um, the amount the Sun reflects back is kind of based on the spec map so if you had a black spec map and the sun was to shine on your bike or object uh, the object wouldn't reflect back much sun or any sun at all to be honest with you now the reason for that is generally because your spec map would be black so it's not really a good idea to have a black spec map because it kind of hinders the performance of your normal map as well um, and it's kind of a really bad idea to have a white one as well. Now the reason it's bad to have a white specular map is because when the sun shines on your object it will reflect back a lot of sun essentially blinding you. So pure white's also bad. Pure black not the greatest either. Um, and another way I could try to explain it is if you had you know some writing on your object or you know a design of some sort if you had a black specular map you would be able to see the design perfectly fine um, you know it would be completely and utterly readable but if you had a white spec map it would be so bright and blinding that you wouldn't be able to see what was on the object so you wouldn't be able to see the design you wouldn't be able to see the writing quite frankly you probably wouldn't be able to see the object but anyway um, you can also use colors like I was saying you know because it's an RGB channel and all um, try not to use light colors try to use quite dark ones so obviously this reads quite bad you probably want to read more like this um, kind of what it does is when the Sun shines on your object and instead of reflecting back kind of a, a whitey color it'll reflect back red um, this can help you achieve uh, I don't know whatever the hell you want really I mean I personally don't use it very much I use a lot of desaturated colors when doing spec maps for my gear but that's about it so yeah spec maps for gear I normally have a desaturated version of the diffuse which is very dark the reason it's very dark is because you really don't want shiny gear it kind of makes it look kind of leathery I actually had a friend called Jay Andrews made some gear spec map was really bright gear kind of looked quite bad but <clears throat> that's pretty much the RGB channel um, quick review uh, white is blindingly bright black is the equivalent of not actually having a Sun so you kind of want to find an in-between kind of margin um, the normal map also kind of works off the spec map to an extent or Sun in general so if there's no Sun shining on the object the normal map doesn't really work that well uh, but yeah so everything kind of goes hand in hand so you kind of got to find a, a good medium point uh, anyway the hardness map works off of the alpha channel like I said at the start and it is all grayscale so the best way to explain hardness is with this brush um, white is 100% hardness so the when the Sun hits your object it'll hit it 
like that just just like that and then if it was black it would look like that so kind of having a low hardness is I, don't, I wouldn't say it's really good having a low hardness I mean you kinda like I said you, you gotta find your own medium point but yeah so anyway um, black is black on your alpha channel is low hardness white is high hardness so when the sun hits it low hardness will look like that high hardness or white will look like that give or take <laughs> but anyway um the reason we have different folders here is when you work on your hardness map you might make different layers and paint in it blah 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 then once you're done uh, duplicate this group merge the group and get out your marquee tool select it go copy hide this hide this and then click on your color and we'll click down here and this will make a new mask map and if we go to channels color mask and we just untick those eyes we go paste that'll put our mask <coughs> that'll put our hardness or mask map into place um, so obviously it's just it's kind of it's a lot easier editing your alpha alpha channel in its own folder and then moving it over later because if I want to try edit this it's not really the easiest because I can't really make a new layer so there's not a lot to work with but yeah that's pretty much the spec map explained um, might have been like this. it is hard to understand really at first but yeah so just a quick overview again uh, your color map or RGB channel is just how bright the sun is and how dull the sun is so black being very dull white being very bright and then obviously the colors itself will just mean a color so if you had red it means it would reflect back a red tinge to it or red tint I guess however you want to explain it and then the alpha being the hardness obviously um, the darker it is the the softer the light is the the brighter your hardness map the harder your the harder the sun's gonna be or you know kinda it's just it's easily represented by the the hardness slider on the brush so um, that's my horrible explanation of a spec map I hope you kinda understand how it works and what it does now um, keep in mind the alpha channels in sim are very um, they don't work overly great per se uh, you'll have to play around with the alpha channels quite a bit but um, I found they're quite quite fidgety to use but anyway um, I hope you guys learnt something from my explanation even if it wasn't very good um, if you have any questions honestly feel free to ask because you probably will have questions but yeah so yeah th thanks for watching